Good morning, everyone. Uh, Heavenly and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to the um, influence organization committee invite me to present my presentation with the title Good Luck View on Human Rights and the Challenger of Modern Technology. <coughs> um, now I I want to focus on my presentation. Uh, there is a uh, four parts in my presentation. I mean the intro introduction. In the second, I focus on the young love's view on human rights, and the sec and the third is the challenges of modern technology in Vietnam, and uh, the fourth one is conclusion. So, beginning, I, I want to say that nowadays we are um, witnessing the amazing achievement of modern science and technology and its practical values have a critic huge we are for human social economic life. Besides its advancement, also creates many rich and challenges for human life in many fields. For example, economy, culture, education, ethic, environment, security, etc. So the modern, uh, the modern technology changed much about the human assistance, human life, and the freedom privacy, empathy of human, and etc. So, for our country, Vietnam is a developing country that has not yet applied modern technology much in practice. So, however, along with the general development change of the time, Vietnam will not uh, be outside the principle of development and will also be affected by modern technology depend on agriculture, it's a different economic, political and social body. Each country will have different solutions, of course. However, um, with the impact of modern technology, on human nowadays, one of the shifts of impact in human rights, we need to see how modern technology affects the human rights in different ways and to what extent. To have a basis for analyzing the effect of modern technology on the wood element of human rights. We return to the thoughts of the law, taking it as a basis of reflecting on the effect of current technology to its rights that they not bring to us. So, in the course of the development of social and political thoughts, the law emerges as a insightful philosopher and politician. His idea brought about the important turning point contributing to the enlightenment produced by our lining view and 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 in turn in new terms then change to into a political philosophy relevant to the topic of human rights. And many of those who reflect on his idea became famous and essential for views up in the political and social life of their society, like a Montesquieu, like a Jean Jacques Rousseau, or Comte, to name a few. Lock 
talks. His intellectual analysis provides new approach to the subject, which different di, di, differ differed from the previous thinker, such as Nicolò Machiavelli, Richard Hawker, or Thomas Hobbes. Thomas Hobbes. His influence has not been confirmed to a European country, only, but has also spread to the United States, becoming foundation for the developing a theory of rights and governing principle in the late um, in the later 17th century and the 18th century. He wished to join in the this uh, endeavor and continues exploring important topics related to John Locke's thoughts on human rights. Uh, so we move on the main uh, content of presentation today uh, is the two zone of views on human rights. To counter this unsatisfactory explanation, Locke developed and employed two theories that had in various forms existed in his day and age. One is a naturalized theory, and the second thing is a social contract theory. Foundational for John Locke's thinking were his idea of the existence of a natural law and a law of nature. Aligning one's conduct and the existing social political structure with the principle and natural law as expressed in natural rights in, in, um, in, in intrinsic to all human, according to Locke, contributed. The um, unavoidable foundation for creeping social stability in which human rights, like um, life rights, rights of freedom, property rights, uh, equality, and the pursuit of happiness are basic factors to ensure the development of society. For Locke, the most foundational natural rights of every human being was the right to plan for one's survival, which included the right to conquer means that will secure one's survival. What follows is Locke's description of the state of nature and its implication that the state of nature has a law of nature to vibrate with, which obliges everyone to listen, which is that law. This all mankind who will but conserve it, that being all the equal and independent, no one ought to harm other in his life, health, liberty, or possession. For man, being all the work men see of one um, in the, um, how to say, Omnipotence and infinitely infin, infinitely wise marker. All the servants of the one 
so the minute master sent into the world by his order and about his business they are his property whose workmanship they are Let the last during this not another visit and being tunist with Liza Hakitis selling all the in one community of nature there cannot be supposed any such subordination among us that may authorize us to destroy another as if we were made for one another use as the inferior ranks a creature are for our everyone as he is bound to preserve himself and not to quit his station wifely so by the lie reason when his own preservation come not in competition of him as much as he can to preserve the rest of mankind and may not unless it be to your justice to an off offender take away or impair the lies impair the lies or what tend to the preservation of life the liberty health land or woods of other another human are the property of their creature god so their action and socio political interact interaction are thus necessary to be governed by the divine purpose revealed in his glorious work of creation of creation creation the nature laws in love work law of nature the law of nature concept is essential to love's concept of the natural rights of human this law of nature revealed to other and principle of the order of creation as humans are also an intricate part of creation their faculty of reason is able to perceive and understand the law of nature to summarize locks reminds is that humans live in a divine divinely ordered creation with their primary purpose being to survive another premise is that all human are created equal to live as the free human persons to the world such premise lead love to postulate for the four fun fundamental natural rights of the all human the right to life the right to liberty the right to health and the right to possession as all of these are instrumental for human survival moreover the human path of the self preservation is complete with the test to help in the preservation and well-being of others as this also happened to be conducted 
long-term human survival. The government come into place as a necessary evil to speak to ensure the safety and survival of the people who decide to give up the free exercise of some of their rights to increase their chance of survival and general well-being. This is how life, liberty, health, and property can be secured as part of fulfilling the God-given purpose to survive. The free sacrifice on the side of the human individual of an uncovered exercise of the land of their natural rights is the essence of the social contract theory power rests with the individual people and is delegated from the people to govern government officials have a benefit on the political community a legitimate exercise of power then arise from this free giving up of some power to make the community and life in its safer, more stable and prosperous uh, better in in key in quicker to survive. The state government is the institute to promote justice and essential principle stemming from the human reflect on the law of nature. In contrast, there is no impartial judge to carry out a punishment proposed to the crime in the state of nature. Here is again where the state comes in with its institution whose purpose is to see that justice is done. For laps, a reasonable and impartial government is in the better position to administer justice than a passionate bias victim. Administering justice from top down by the heavy hand of the state, as we indicated earlier, is a necessary evil under the condition and a corrupt human society, love seemed to have held the view that the conductions of money in the economically more involved human society gave rise, rise to inequality full full structural as well as personal injustice and spawned all the kind of tensions. So, love's third premise, premise or in this case, metaphysical presupposition is that all the material work we include all the living and the non-living things has is the architect and love given in the person of the omnipot omnipotent creator second uh, the state of nature is uh, governed by laws of nature that reflect the word architects 
en le zimmer, cryptic design. Cause don't experience and the user reason. Human are able to observe and he heard the implication of the law of nature for human life. For the individual and social, as this implications are expressed in the intrinsic nature rights of the all people, namely the right to life, to health, to liberty, and the right of perception. And the cause is due to limitedness, imperfections, and corruptibilities that are intrinsic to the process of human development, beginning in the state of nature and continuing in more complex civilizational setting. Human individual choose to live in political communities driven by a social contract wherein they give up an independent exercise of some of their rights and freedoms in order to enhance the stability, justice, and prosperity of their communities. In general, it can be said that the Lord was the first person to establish the foundation for the development of the comprehensive theory of human rights. However, due to historical limitations, the law did not consider, consider human rights for all, but focused on the protecting the right of human of, of Europeans, men at that time, only men. So the right of women or the right of immigrate, immigrate and wait earner had not been given due attention. Moreover, we can talk about the rise of possession. It seems the law put the relationship between the human with the nature like the people has a right to exploit the nature because the nature is the gift of God to human. So, Based on the theory of human rights in John Locke's thought, we can uh, use it for see about the um, human rights uh, for um, face to face to the challenge of modern technology uh, in Vietnam now. We can say um, Vietnam is the fast developing economy now. Undergoing major change in education, science to use the technology, and the building up of the infrastructure. To mention some of the most important ones, besides the advantage of science, of technology, and the overall influence of the process of globalization on the Vietnamese social. But however, there are serious challenges to be copied. For example, the, li the, liber the liber liber liberalization <laughs> of the Vietnam's economy has brought a rough seat in the management and institutional oversight.
Miss the social chains hollow sealed, resulting in considerable um, detrimental effect in terms of the meal or resurfacing social phenomena. Rampant case of corruption, human trafficking, abduction of the woman, the kidnapping of the children, a strong surge in the domestic violence and sexual abuse. Uh, abuse. Third, the question of the black and traditional value and human rights in Vietnamese society re-emerged with the new opportunity. Besides making life easier, the new and ever faster advance in science and modern technology tend to continue enforcing challenges to men's self perception, values, system, interpersonal communication of the human relationship to the nature environment, to the name but a few, but a few. The concern is to harness the development of modern technology in such a way to prevent the process of dehumanization from the affecting human society and individual. We ought to what fully remember that technologies and technology have a far reaching effect on the speed and scale of the human activity that it facilitates and on the patent of human relations that it introduced or modified. An unchecked acceptance of modern and special digital technologies on a mass scale can result in the forgetting the original purpose for which the given technology was invented in the first place. To prevent this from happening, a competent and intentional philosophical ethical reflection should be Fostered, fostered by respected authority in the society. Cope, cope with the advantage of um, so I think I talk too much now is we can uh, make slide so we can conclusion. We must say that the technology in Vietnamese has not impact, impacted on the human rights as much as development country. However, with the initial application of modern technology in the contemporary Vietnam, applying the medical aspect, agriculture, Industry, the more than uh, now you can see Vietnam now they the people uh, use internet much. If uh, all of you come to Vietnam, you can easily get the Wi Fi and everywhere, like in the park, like in the in, um, coffee shop, in the stomach, uh, uh, supermarket, and sometimes. Because you know, now there is the more than six 
54 million people in Vietnam use the internet and 8% of us using 6 hours and 45, 42 minutes per day. As that is a statistic in uh, 2019. So we will see some change of human right now. First, based on the uh, human right of Nguyen Lok, I look to the uh, human right in Vietnam. So first, the right to the life. There are some genes, technologies, internal organs, transplant technology is applied in, in Vietnam. Although there are not any judgment about killing the people to take the internal organs, but with this technology, besides the positive thing, it has to keep the alive of human. It provoke the offenders in society to kidnap or to kill the people to take the internal organ. And you know, this happened much in China. Even in China, they uh, oh, some um, organization, um, international organization, had to interfere much about uh, the problem in China. So we we should think about in Vietnam. In the future, Vietnam need to have the method to protect people in this danger. The second, um, the right to liberty. What happens when each person cannot keep the private information? The, the modern technology can interfere the in individual life. How we can imagine that? What happens when we are control and checks to a 24 hour area in the future they put the digital chip in the each person and can and can order each person to follow what the commander wants so like uh, the people feel losing the liberty, of course that's the future maybe it's happened. But now we can say uh, like um, many many information from our church, they know much. For example, we can s give um, the phone and um, uh, some account, bank account, but the hacker um, still uh, stolen and you know that like uh, when we use Facebook we just uh, talk about or um, search about with the during we discuss with the friend about the something and immediately on Facebook appears this guy like uh, we talked about the um, camera and after a few minutes there are many, many kinds of camera pages appear in our page on Facebook. So, it's not like uh, many, many private information they know. And every day there is someone to call uh, to, to call uh, us, like to call me to ask about um, uh, they, they, they advertise the product but how can you how can they get my number because technology so they can serve and I don't know how how they do but the individuals information spread out and the third the right to help there are some genes technology in growing the plant and domestic animal it can be impact the health of people especially the 
emotional health, spiritual health. The statistic nowadays, the rate of uh, suicide in Vietnam, the young people, in the teenager increase. When the people use the digital, digital equipment and internet to connect each other, instead of talking and meeting in person, then uh, the people become the uh, become the unmindful, neglectful, and without empathy. So they like uh, they they don't they don't think much to each other. They just think themselves. And they don't say many things at other. For example, uh, in the past, when we celebrate the birthday, they often come and have a talk together and give some gift, a simple gift. But now we send the icon on Facebook and give some uh, sentence, a quite beautiful sentence. But they don't miss each other. That is problem. And the pause, the right to the processing. Now, when you know technology can steal anything, the information, then they can steal the money in the bank account. Like I told, how can you imagine what happened when the High modern technology in the hand of the high standard liver group in society. How the poor person can earn and keep their property? How? So, what's the solution for this issue besides the role of government, the social organization, the the, the responsibility of authority in the local officer and um, the school um, the responsibility of its family and we need to um, we need to do together to find a way to help the human uh, have a good future. Thank you very much for your attention. Yes. Thank you.